We're gonna have a little bit of fun today. Oh, <laughs> you're in for a bloody treat. So, oh, off to a great start. These were brand new too. This is what has happened to my brand new markers. Now they're out of color order. You know what? Stuff it. I'm gonna just pretend I always intended to do a lovely layout like this. I'm still gonna want them in color order, God damn it! You're still, you're still in for a bloody treat. Today we're gonna play with something I've wanted to play with for a very long time, and that is the Copic Airbrush System. And I've seen a lot of other art YouTubers use this to great effect, and I am going to disappoint you today by not doing it as good as most people do. But you know what I am? Stupider. Which is why I'm going to be comparing it to the Crayola airbrush <laughs> And just for context, as far as like the price difference and how these are gonna be like stacking up against each other, this pack of Copic markers that I just threw onto the ground, I think this goes for about 250 Australian dollars or thereabouts. The airbrush system, this one, this is a portable one. It actually comes with a can and a, the spray connection and all that stuff is about 100 Australian dollars. And I also got one of these. This is a little air compressor. Wow, look at it. Ah, oh, it looks like it's also capable of time travel, which is cool. So the Copic airbrush system that you can get that has the air can Why am I holding it upside down? Because it's open at the bottom. Because I opened it at the bottom. Because I'm an idiot. A professional idiot. The system comes with these disposable canisters of air, but I got this little, uh, little air compressor so that you don't have to go through disposable canisters. You can just plug in and go. I want to give both a go, but the whole system comes to over 500 Australian dollars, which is not cheap. And for those of you who are more budget conscious, I thought it'd be fun to directly compare it to the $20 Crayola equivalent. See how they set up and function and how fun they are to use and how they can words using too much many of them too many too many words you get the point but you know what you can't have too many of audiobooks which you can get by using audible the sponsor of this video that was a really smooth transition anyways audible for those of you who don't know and those of you who don't know there is something very very wrong with you but audible is an amazing place for you to check out some fantastic audiobooks and while i'm recommending books to check out go check out my brother's new book shad from shadiversity is a medieval arms and armor youtuber but he's also an author and he's just released a book that has been 14 years in the making i couldn't be prouder of him and if you're into high epic fantasy, then you're gonna get high on his epic fantasy. That's not the, shouldn't have gone with that, but I'm going with it. His new book is called Shadow of the Conqueror by Shad M. Brooks. And while you're checking out Audible, there's a great deal for Amazon Prime members. Amazon Prime members can get Audible for just $4.95 a month for the first three months. That's basically getting three months for the price of one. And after that, the subscription's only $14.95 a month with which you get a credit for an audiobook every month. And this offer, by the way, ends on July 31st. So if you wanna make use of that during the Amazon Prime deal, you have until July 31st. Make sure to go to audible.com slash Jazza or text Jazza to 500 500 and you can make use of that deal and get your first three months for only $4.95 a month. So go check it out once again, audible.com slash Jazza or text Jazza to 500 500 to make use of that deal. And a huge thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video. So time to have fun with it. Oh, there's a, there's a noodley. I forgot to show you my noodle. <laughs> I'm gonna try and figure this thing out later because it looks a little bit intimidating. Let's start off with this thing. Instructions. All right, we got my got my canister. How's this work? Where's that? Where's that go? Wait! Yes! 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 That screws in there. I'm just gonna check the instructions. Oh, there's a picture. That's a, that's all the instructions I need. I just don't like reading words, which is why this video is sponsored by Audible. <laughs> air grip, air adapter, air hose, air can. I nailed it. I feel like my neighbors think I'm a really angry person. So let's. Nothing. Did I put, tighten this the wrong way? Am I meant to go in? Did you hear that? <laughs> that was like, that was pretty. Oh my God, that's cool. Oh, wow. All right, we're in business. There you go. So that's how that works. That's the purple. We're just having a play, seeing if we can get it working, which <laughs> we have. I sort of want to just keep going, but I, I feel like I need to try different things. And I think this was a success. Oh, I've got to, un, got to unpressurize it. Let's see, safety first. <laughs> you scared, Gareth? Yep. 
It's all right, it's okay. <laughs> so we've had a play with this and we're gonna come back to this in a moment and use the big boy, the big air, air compressor. In the meantime, we're going to uh, unbox and experience the Crayola marker airbrush system for the first time together. And I have a feeling this is just gonna be as professional and fun as the, the Copic one. I know it comes across like I'm being sarcastic, but honestly, like if this thing actually works, I would have had loads of fun with something like this as a kid. Look at this thing. Boom! Oh my god! It even comes with like paper and activities. Where are my activities, Copic? Where are they? Yeah, look, he's got a little, this one's got a little sharp. Let's figure this out. Oh boy. <laughs> I was just gonna ask, I wonder how Crayola justify putting an air compressor in the hands of children. I guess the answer is. I feel like that's it. I feel like there's no pl- I actually sprayed my face. So close. <laughs> All right, I locked it, locked it in place. Oh, 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 hey. It's a little poopy. It is dripping a bit, which isn't great. Ooh. Oh, I can blow bubbles. This is a, oh. <laughs> Maybe I've wedged it in too deep. I think I might have pushed too hard. So what I'm gonna do, let's prime it first. I don't know why I feel like this is a more efficient way to, to do it. It's like an accordion, the accordion method. Makes lovely whimper sounds. All right, I'm not gonna push in too aggressively. I'll just, just gently pop it in there. Here we go, oh, got a little bit of seepage. <laughs> Didn't plan on seepage, Crayola. That's um, that's it's a good bubble pooper. It's more efficient at pooping bubbles than it is airbrushing. You see those drops are so annoying. I'd almost be willing to say this is still sort of cool if it didn't freaking dribble every time you blow it. You ready for the reveal? I worked hard for this. <laughs> oh, I think we've seen what we need to see of the Crayola. This is gonna be most beneficial for you to see them side by side. Now, again, obviously, price difference, you know, it's twenty dollars. You're probably getting as much value for that money as having your little activities and some markers and a and an accordion. But I think you want to see these side by side. So let's do that. Let's get a couple of colours, shall we? We do a little uh, little smorgasbord. Oh my god, that has such kick! Quite hard to get an even gradient. I don't know if it's the same with actual airbrush. Probably, probably is. I mean, I wonder how much control it gives. If I get really close. Oh my God, look at that. So I can like full on do like these really thin lines and gradient out till I get that. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. So there you go. That's our first set of samples with the Copic airbrush system. It's time to see how this bad boy compares. <laughs> oh, he's trying so hard. Oh, he's trying. Oh, there it is. There's the poop. Come on, I had faith in you. You were the chosen one. I loved you. <laughs> what is happening? This is not what I paid for. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! Looks like a mini meringue. Everybody. Crayola airbrush system. Oh my god, I can you way I can push around the foam. Alright, last one, black. Does the marker even Oh <laughs> that, you know that'll be why. Something tells me there's not enough juice in there to get any sort of spray out. There it is. I particularly love the occasional poopy drops uh, and the, the foam splatter that you can shape with the air of the hand-pumped Crayola system. And also the fact that some markers aren't even good markers, let alone spray markers. But, it was fun. But now for the moment you've all been waiting for, we're gonna go from this to this. I don't know how this works, and I've never done it before, and I'm not gonna read the instructions. It's more fun that way. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yep, should have read these instructions. <laughs> so I think I still need...
Hey! Look at that! Oh, oh, oh that's cool. <laughs> sort of wakes up, it's like, oh, let me catch up. Just went, brrr, I'm having a little, little pet, keep you company. Okay, so now I know how this all works. I've gotten all my explosions out of the way. I'm gonna make an artwork that I hope you enjoy. We'll montage it up. We'll see how we go in the end, how much we've learnt in a day from using the Copic airbrush system. Pair up, baby. We're getting started. I don't know if it's the fumes, but I'm uh, feeling pretty good at the end of the day. It's probably, definitely for you. Woo! This is my finished result. And I have to say, for having never used the airbrush system, I think this turned out pretty gosh darn great. I would attempt it with the Crayola system, but I think we all know how that would turn out. Come on, I had faith in you! You were the chosen one! I loved you! With that said, credit where credit is due wasn't a complete waste of time or money because I did use the little uh, templates that came with the cute little Crayola set. So that's pretty cool. This has been so much fun just getting lost in making an artwork and I was caught by surprise by how much I just dove into it and wanted to make more. So while it is a fairly expensive system, at the same time, it's pretty cool, especially if you already have Copic markers. I wanna thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, why don't you subscribe to Draw With Jazza for more fun with art and creativity. We have, a, we have a good time here. Hit like if you enjoyed it. Hit the bell if you wanna see more when the videos come out and there are more videos over there you can check out. Thank you so much much for watching and until next time I'll see you later